the candidate and her hijab. Zara's MIE has learnt the hard way that identity matters in France's local elections, sparking a national row over what it means to be French. The laboratory technician was running to be a local councillor for President Emmanuel Macron's ruling party. That was until last month when it withdrew its backing. Her transgression? Wearing her hijab in a campaign poster. The 26-year-old and the three other candidates who had been on the same ticket are now running as independents in the southern city of Montpellier. They also have a new slogan, different but united for you. Now all of France knows the stance of Macron's party. For us, we'll continue without the party's support and we're not giving up. The fallout erupted after the far right seized upon the image as proof Macron was weak on protecting France's secular values. In her first interview since she became embroiled in the national debate over the role of Islam in France, Zemaï says she wants to focus on promoting equal opportunities and fighting discrimination. It's a non-issue for all four of us. We've not questioned ourselves about that, whether to wear the hijab or not. We're really here for different but united for you. I'm not a spokesperson for any religious cause. However, across much of France, the hijab is an issue. Zemaï's campaign photo split Macron's party, reflecting deep divisions over how secular laws should be applied. This is after Islam emerged as the country's second biggest religion behind Catholicism. For supporters of a strict interpretation of laïcité, France's version of secularism, Islamic headwear has become a symbol of the politicization of Islam, subjugation and resistance of the Republic's vision of French identity. Laïcité and identity will be central to the campaign battle, ahead of the 2022 presidential vote. Opinion polls show far-right leader Marine Le Pen will be Macron's biggest challenger. Mafoud Ben Ali, who heads Zemaï's ticket, says France is changing. My message is very clear. It is that the Republic must not exclude anyone. The Republic is based on laws. For me, the Republic represents the emancipation of women, and we have to stop deciding for women. Sarah is a free woman. She does what she wants with her life. French law does not prohibit wearing the hijab or other religious symbols in images on election flyers. But Macron's party line was that there should be no place for overt displays of religious symbols on electoral campaign documents.